Brandon is very, he has to talk things through with everybody. I may or may not have like a really small attention span. Cause things. even this Technology whole interaction is one of those right here, I was ready to walk away about two minutes ago. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. We're so happy that you're here. Today is a wonderful day. We are just going into the last day of school before the kids have an online Friday tomorrow and before we head out of town. We are very excited. The energy and buzz around our house, well, it's a thing. Kids are very excited. They're heading to school today. Heather, as we pulled up to school, he goes, I don't wanna go to school today. And I said, I know you just have one more day before we get to go have some fun. They're off to school. Crew is trying to campaign as much as he can, telling all of his friends tomorrow, when you get the ballots, please vote for me running for student council. And the teachers are great. They prepare him. If you don't make it, it's not because we don't like you. It's not because your peers don't like you. But I'm like, oh man, this is scary. It's scary for a mama to have their kids put themselves out there like that. And then you just go, I hope it works out for the best. I hope that it works. We're excited for that. Anxious for that. We should be hearing about that hopefully before we leave on our flight on Saturday. I have a lot to get done. I just feel like we've been, honestly, I feel like I'm a little bit underwater. Since coming back from my trip with Ryler, I have like not been able to keep on top of things at home and that's like totally normal. I think every household goes through that. That has been my challenge the last couple of days and last night I walked in and the kitchen was a disaster and I says I'm gonna give myself like 10 or 15 minutes and I just crushed it. I just got the kitchen completely cleaned up. I just need to go through and do that with every single room. I just need the time at home. That is the only part I'm missing. I've had a really difficult time having time here because I needed in a million other places. We're doing our best. Our best is most definitely enough. I just tell myself that probably 50 times a day. You're doing your best. You're doing your best. Your best is enough. We're trucking through life. If you guys are feeling like that, feeling a little overwhelmed, you are not alone. I wanted to get on here and say hello and good morning. And I'm so, so grateful that you're all here. So thank you for being here with us. And this is Howie Bingham. You guys were so grateful. Today, I'm going to head out, go get some things done. I get to go get my cruise nails done, which I'm very excited about. I don't know what I'm going to do. Definitely something bright. I'll be sure to show you guys. By the time you're seeing this, happy Friday. It's the weekend. The weekend is almost here. I have gone and got a couple things done. Had intentions, in fact, I shot one video of my nails and then I wanted to continue videoing it, but she was using my phone to make sure she was doing the right design. I did a really, really cute design on my nails. They're very bright, very summery, very cruise vibe. Anyways, that was a lot of fun. The kids just got home from school and I have been wanting to get a pedicure for a couple of days. I feel like there's been a million things preventing me from doing it, but now I finally have time. So I decided to take Hazel with me. Her and I, she just got in the car. We're gonna go grab pedicures and go do that for a little fun afternoon. Mom, getting some packing done. I see we got the sunscreen. I'll tell you right now outside. Does not look like we need sunscreen. I know, but I will tell you, I checked the temperature in Jamaica and it's 85 degrees. And sunny, not even cloudy. Oh my yes. gosh, I can't wait for spring break. Okay, speaking of spring break, this is a perfect segue into, we actually are going to do a sell on our store. This is HowieBingham.com. In fact, the code is spring break and it will get you 30% oh. off every, yeah, we've never done, I don't think a sell that big. 30% off of everything on the website. The tumblers, they're already discounted. So you can save an additional 30% on So it top stacks of on top of that, wow. And then what else is like on there right now? Cause I know we're gonna like refill some new stuff. So, so we have still hats, there? shirts. We have like a couple of sweatshirts. Lanyards, sunglasses, wallets. Like have sunglasses, I'm taking some of those on the trip for sure. I know, we gotta take those. Uh, wallet I would take awesome. with me. Man, there's uh, some great beanies, stuff Beanies. Okay, sure. I which mean, is could, actually kind of appropriate for the weather you outside. You could totally use that. Or get it for 30% off and you can rock it next winter. I know, I know. <laughs> use code spring break. I'll put it on screen. Is it all lowercase? Anything uppercase? Just I did the uppercase, but it doesn't matter if it's uppercase or okay, lowercase. Okay, okay. Go to this is how we .com and you can get something really awesome. First of all, I gotta say, Mindy allows me to wear this outfit one week out of the year, and that is Easter week. So I am rocking it today. The problem is you wear it in the middle of December. I literally wear it all the time. But every time pink I do, hoodie, blue it's the pants. blue, it's the pastel blue with the pink. And that those are scrubs. Yeah, they do. But they're not. They're really nice, comfortable joggers. But I didn't realize it kind of does look like an Easter egg. I thought it was Valentine's Day, or originally, you may have guessed, I thought it was cotton candy. I loved it because it had a cotton candy vibe. But Mindy says it's Easter and spring only. We were rocking in January whenever, but I wanted to just let you guys know, it is now the appropriate week. I'd wear this every day if I wanted to. Okay, now. 
Now, second thing. You guys might notice a new addition here. And it's not Wade. Wade's been here a while. What up, Wade? He's old news. One of my favorite people it's in the house. It's so weird that you have a life-size Barbie in your bedroom. <laughs> and we play. A life-size Kenneth. Like every night. It's Kenneth. <laughs> He's Kenneth. But I've been spending most of my day in here today, and I've been setting up an entirely new workstation. Well, I know that doesn't fascinate and excite many people, but this is where the magic is going to happen. This is where the vlogs are going to be created, and for the history of the This Is How We Become YouTube channel journey, it has been on a laptop, which has been fantastic. It's like a 15-inch screen, 15.6 inches. And it's it great. It's like one of the biggest laptops there is. It's been fantastic. It's done the job, and it's a powerhouse. I absolutely love that it's laptop. Awesome. And what I've loved is that it goes with us anywhere. I take it on my travels. I'm just comfortable with that workflow, that workstation, and I can do it anywhere. In our last house, my office was at the bottom of the stairs on this little cutout slab of granite. I don't even know what you would call that. We eventually morphed it into a little better office. This is a fantastic office, absolutely insane. Still always just been the MacBook. And yes. as you walk into the office, it kind of looks a little bit dainty. It's just a little MacBook. On this on big old office. But now I've officially upgraded to this ultra wide, ridiculous it's curved monitor. I don't know if you guys can even see that it's curved. When you look straight at it, you can't tell. It is curved. As I sit there, it curves around me. It is fully immersive in the editing process. I am diving it's like deep. IMAX into the vlogs. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. Almost like virtual reality, but not quite that good. It's almost there. Because you know, it's like immersive. It like wraps around my face. Like I'm living in it. Okay. Anyway, this is what I've been doing. Setting this up today. But here's the deal. I love this office. I love how clean it is. I love the way Nicole made it. I love the way everything came together. It's pretty amazing. And I wanted to keep that same like clean, just good looking factor. And when I set this up, there were cables absolutely everywhere. Oh, and we know you guys have been here through the build process. What are they called? No cords. Icky bits. Icky bits. We hide those icky bits. We don't want those out. In fact, Nicole went to great lengths to put outlets in places, really weird places sometimes like just floor. so that you don't have to see those icky bits and so no. because the rest of the house does that I really felt like I can't have the no office cords. be the place where the cords are no cords. it was so bad when I first set it up with Rye Guy that I was like I might not oh, keep no, it it was that really bad. bad I was like I hope he doesn't leave it like that but what are your other solutions whenever you have an open desk front normally that's up against a wall most of these monitors and the way that they're set up is so that your desk is kind of facing a wall and then your stuff's all looking really cool but you can't yeah. see anything behind it yeah. well because that's what you see when you walk in my office it requires a little bit of handiwork you know I'm kind of a handy Man. Yeah, you know Brandon. Right, He's Wade? Like tool bell. Brandon is very, he has to talk things through with everybody. I may I'm or may bored. not have like a really small attention span. Well, especially when it comes to certain things. Because even this Technology is one of interaction those right here, I was ready to walk away about two minutes ago. But I'm still here. So a lot of people so on the So Brandon's got to talk things through. I told him maybe I'll give everybody like the absolute shortest tour ever. I wanted to tell you what I've been up to and I wanted everyone to get excited about this amazing like and new setup for editing vlogs. This is RGB. She's learning about, I told her that had RGB. She's like, I don't get it. I was like, you know how my computer, my new PC, like constantly like, pulsing color. It's like, I guess. And I was like, wait, you guess? That's my favorite feature. That's RGB. So RGB also on this. So, you know, also kind of doesn't match at all with anything in the room. Yeah, doesn't but, go with the aesthetic at all. I really, really quickly though, I was able to eliminate almost as if there are no cords at all, which is a miraculous achievement almost. on my part. There's one power cord you have to. But this thing comes with a massive power brick, and I'm talking like the size of an Xbox. But I got some like super heavy duty gorilla, gorilla tape, double sided, and I've actually stuck it up underneath here. If you guys want to know the hack, in fact, I'll just show you. I'll show you the icky bits. You guys can see my icky bits. Oh my god. I don't know gosh. if I can see that. You can't really see very good, but it's all up under here. All the cords are under there. I've got the huge power box. It's that big old thing right there that's stuck to the top of the desk. I guess the bottom of the desk. And then I have fed the power cable right down here down the back side of this desk leg. And then it feeds underneath here along the car carpet into the outlet and you guys it is a nearly seamless cordless presentation of the perfect vlog editing office my goodness i'm pumped i mean it does not get better than this Woo! <laughs> Seeing that office, first of all, I'm in love. Second of all, I think Nicole would absolutely die if you oh, saw what I've done to that place. Would die. So hopefully she's not watching. But Nicole, I both apologize and also thank you for all the great work that you put into <laughs> that amazing crazy. office. But I was thinking back on that whole process, building the home, designing it with Nicole. Incredible, amazing process through and through. I had a memory pop up on my phone today. I don't know if you realize this, but today, the three year, it was 2021. Yes, three year. Three year mark. anniversary. To this day, we stood on the sidewalk just out there. Both of us are gonna try not to get emotional because every time we talk about it, we do because it was a very emotional moment. It was so amazing. And it was at 
that moment, on that day, that we knew this is where we were going to live, this is where we were going to build our home. We we're gonna dig up that dirt, basically start a fresh foundation for our family here in this area. And I don't know if you remember like all that led into that. Particular day, we were like praying, we were really seeking to know if this was where our family was supposed to be, but we, we had come up here. fasting, I don't know if you guys are familiar with fasting, if you're not, it's where you just basically like you don't eat, and for us that is a really big sacrifice. <laughs> It's like putting it all on the You've line. You've seen the candy I've packed for <laughs> So, this. yeah, it's a big deal. And yeah. you're just basically looking for inspiration for answers. It was a big deal to move our family. Obviously a very large yeah. purchase, a financial investment, Slow all back. of those things. So we were just thinking, we wanna make sure we're being guided here. We're making the right decision, the right call. And that was the day that we kind of got our answer, but. We'd come up here half a dozen times. We took pictures, we took videos. Kind of scope it yes. out, feel, okay, is this really far away? How does it feel being in this area? Every time, because of the time of year it is, we've talked about this a lot, how it's just been gloomy, <laughs> It's been rainy, it's been overcast, it's been crappy weather. That's exactly how it was then. We had come up here all of those times and every single time, thick, dense cloud cover. We actually couldn't even see these gorgeous mountains that surround the property because they were covered in clouds. So it's yeah. like, we know that we're kind of in a bowl of mountains here, but I don't see them ever. And I'd say five or six times we came up and never once even saw the mountains. No. And it's not like that is a big deal because we knew they were there, but it's kind of symbolic, I guess. I don't know. It had been very cloudy. Our minds have been clouded. We were unsure. Then came up here on that beautiful Sunday afternoon. And as we drove up, it was like the skies were blue, heavens opened. It was unreal. And we stood on the curb and we both just cried. Yeah. We were like, I think this is what we're supposed to do. We just knew it. And, and it was both terrifying and exciting because this was a big, this was a big deal. <laughs> the I mean, land was significantly more than anything we were looking at. That was another reason we were hesitant and having a hard time pulling the trigger on it. As we stood here on that curb and on that sidewalk that day. In our church clothes, we're in our Sunday best white shirts, the ties, the whole so bit. so much younger and so much smaller. I showed Crew that picture and he was like, what the heck? That's how little I was we, when you guys got this land. We just knew this is where we were supposed to be. And it's not because it was sunny, it's not because of the blue skies, but it was an interesting symbolism, I guess, because it just felt like everything was saying, this is the place, this is where you're gonna call home. And it was really cool to have that pop up today, three years ago, 2021, on this exact day. I don't even know if you'd wanna include it here, but the day that we told our kids that we had gotten the land. You guys, we got the lot. It's ours. Under contract, it's ours. <laughs> Ryler That's... just fell into a puddle of tears. Oh, buddy, I love you so much. I did not expect that from Sweet Rag Guy. I love you. Yeah, we, oh my gosh. Wow, that's not a confirmation of all confirmations. Good night. He wanted it so bad, he wanted to move, and this has been the best move for our kids. It's your reality, bro. <laughs> I did not see that coming, right, guy? <laughs> <laughs> this is where TIHWB headquarters is. We love it here. Oh my gosh, and we couldn't love it. And as we're getting ready to head into spring, the pool's about to open, the trees and flowers are about to blossom. And once I'm again, so we're getting excited. some blue skies. Even today, we had a little bit of blue skies, blue but skies it also did right snow there. and rain and was very windy, because, you know, that's what it does. It was really cool to see that memory pop up and think that all that time has passed and all that's happened in that time build process and then moving in and then now we've been here for like a year and a half almost it's just like time yeah. just keeps moving and marching forward so fast and still we feel just incredible about that confirmation that we received and we feel amazing about being here and we have already okay. seen in the short time we've been here many 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 small miracles small little confirmations that this is exactly where we are meant to be and where we want to be for us and most especially for our kids at this time yeah it's awesome this is the future home of the this is how we bingham family First of all, Jamaica, Bahamas. I did it wrong. Bermuda, Bahama. Bermuda, Bahama. Then you come on, pretty mama. Stuff. You're pretty mama. But you guys, I was just gonna say, we've gotta wrap up this vlog because mom is like mid packing process as far as like laying out, coordinating outfits, finding out how many things we I'm need for what. I'm actually texting everyone in our family. Which I'm so grateful what they for. they need to bring. Because I absolutely need that checklist. Tomorrow is the full blown packing day because we don't have any days left. It has to be tomorrow because we leave the next morning. I've never packed this late, ever. I don't think we've ever packed this much. It is nine ish days, nine, I don't know what it is, but it is front end day, a back end day, and a seven or eight day cruise. Well, we got a lot of stuff. You extra suitcase for my gift for anniversary, right? I hope we make it to 19 years. <laughs> How many years is this one? 23, 18, 7? I told someone the other day it was 15. It feels like it's 18. been, I round, Mindy. 15 now, and eventually it'll be 20, and it'll be 50. Tomorrow is the full blown, I think we're gonna go cute packing? What are you thinking? I yeah, think we oh, have to, because sure. like it's the to. only way to like segment we these things. We have too many people in too few suitcases. A lot of coordinating to do in that. Tall task, but it's one of our favorite things to vlog and share with you guys, because I'd be super interested in how this goes down. <laughs> I not done stuff. it. I actually don't do it. I watch you do it in my video and then we show you guys. So. He packs himself though, guys. I do not pack Sometimes. Brandon. No, I don't. You guys, <laughs> we love you. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Today's been a good, awesome, long day, but come back tomorrow because like Brandon said, we're packing for the cruise. And then we're leaving for the cruise. Holy cow. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.